guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a massive shopping haul to show you. Um, I went shopping with my friend the other day and we went to a few different thrift stores and we also went to the mall. So I have quite a bit of things. Um, I found some really good stuff, so let me show you guys. So I'm gonna show you what I got from Savers and Goodwill first. Um, the first thing I wanna show you guys are these adorable little boots. I found these at um, Goodwill. They were $8 and apparently it says they're kids shoes but um, let me see if I can find the brand. It doesn't say... Um, wait, yeah it does. It actually says e-girl in the shoe. Um, these are a size 7 and when I saw these I literally couldn't pass them up. They have a little bit of damage on them but they're so cute. I think they're perfect to wear to work because they're not too much of a high platform. So yeah, this is the first thing I found at Goodwill. Okay, next thing I got from Goodwill, I swear these could be my shorts from like middle school, but I got this pair of low rise Hollister um, jeans. I just, I'm so excited for summer coming up and I wanna wear booty shorts. So I got these, um, because they're the short shorts, short, short, shorts. And I love the color and the rip of these. Um, and I'm a low waisted gal right now. So had to pick these up. I'm back in my Y2K phase. Um, not so much like girly Y2K, more like grungy, I don't even know, like trashy Y2K. Um, so the next thing I got are these um, Abercrombie and Fitch. Fitch? Fitch. Fitch. Abercrombie and Fitch sweats. These look like Aeropostale sweats that I used to have, and these are also low rise. Um, they look a little bit big for me, but I'm hoping that this tie will do, do the thing. Um, I don't think I ever owned anything Abercrombie and Fitch because it wasn't a store that I had here growing up, but yeah. I thought these were super cute and they're a dark gray color, which I love. Okay, this is boring. This is just for like everyday wear. Um, but I found these low-waisted flare leggings. Um, these are Athleta. Athleta. And these already have quite a bit of hair on them because I wore them today. Um, but these are super flattering and super cute. So, of course, I had to pick these up. Okay, um, next I have some things from... Savers. I mainly found t-shirts at Savers. Um, I also found two jackets and some pajama pants. So these pajama pants, they're so cute. I'm literally obsessed. Look at these. Pink, baby pink polka dot pajama pants. And they're so comfortable. It has like this little rope tie um, at the front. This is the brand Betsy Johnson. Um, I love the black trim on these. I've been loving baby pinks lately and this was just like the perfect color baby pink. They're super cute and although I don't wear them to bed, um, they're fun to like lounge around in so my dog is making an entrance. Sorry if this stuff has hair on it already, I washed it but it just gets hair on it inevitably so yeah. Um, I'm gonna show my jackets that I got from Savers. The first jacket I was kind of iffy about. Like I was saying, this jacket I'm pretty iffy about because it had like a, what do you call this, King? Without a hood? Like a um, crew neck? No, not like a crew neck, no. but it doesn't have a hood. So I thought it was going to look weird, kind of like, like a track. yeah, like a track jacket. But this is from the brand Lucky, Lucky brand. I've had a lot of other things from this brand before, but... This one's really cool because it has like a peony heart or peony flower like in tattoo style on the back and in the front and it's like this cream white color so I actually really like this. I've worn it a few times. I've found two mossy mossy oak things from Sabres in the past week but this one is my favorite because it is a baby pink but That's I got really this. Cute. Um, I saw this brand name, named Name Collective. They have hoodies like this with a bunch of pink bows throughout, so I thought it would be cool for me to just add the pink bows myself, um, because I think that jacket already sold out, and this is thrifted, so this was a really good find. I found one that is hot pink as well, but this one has, like, soft material inside, so 
This is a really good find. Okay, and the last few things I got from Sabres are t-shirts. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't know what this says. And Kane can't figure it out either. No one can figure out what this shirt says. C-E-L-L. -L. C? I thought okay. L. Capital L-E-L. -L. Yeah. L-E-L-L-I-H. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if this is a band. I don't really? know if this is a brand. I don't know anything. But it kind of looks like it was just like shittily put on there because it's like pixelated a little bit. But the main reason I got it is because it has this like man. Is this, what's his name? The Greek god that holds a rock? Um, Ares, I don't know. I know that's a painting though. This uh, is a famous painting? Well, I'll take a look at it. Yeah, I don't know. It has like this creepy looking guy on it and it looks like he's holding a rock. It's um, a right? is that not this Let me see. Something like that. No, he's like holding a rock, but I don't know. It fits me perfectly, and I thought it was really cool. So, if anybody knows what this is, definitely let me know in the comments. The next two t-shirts, you guys are gonna freak. Okay, you guys, my fucking camera died last night, and my light died last night, so I didn't get to finish showing you everything. And I don't know what the fuck happened in between last night and this morning, but at like 12.30, I went to bed at like 9, 9.30, because Kane works at 5 in the morning today, or he worked at 5 in the morning today. But I woke up at 12.30, my fucking, I don't even know, what's the thing called with your nose that connects to your mouth? I don't know, but it was fucking burning, burning every time I breathed, like, I don't know. And now when I swallow, it hurts. I know it's allergies before anybody says anything, but I don't know what the fuck happened. Like this shit is whooping my ass right now. I didn't sleep. I literally, I slept from like 12.30 to 2.30. So I got two hours there. And then I slept from 4.30 to eight. So I've only slept like five hours or four, four or five hours. So I'm fucking tired, but I want to get this video out for you guys. Um, I'm trying to be on my grind this year. I'm not, I'm not making any excuses. So this is why I look like shit, basically, is what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, let me finish showing you guys what the fuck I bought. Um, I think I was on t-shirts from Savers. Well, I got this Slipknot shirt. Um, this is from their 2021 tour which I did not get to go to but this shit is just in mint condition and it's the design is amazing like I couldn't pass this up the black and red my two favorite colors and it fits me perfectly so slipknot t-shirt and then y'all I fucking freaked when I saw this please ignore the dog hair please ignore the fucking dog hair there's a lot of it on there but I found a my chemical romance t-shirt I have never found a My Chemical Romance t-shirt at the thrift before. And it's because everyone wants to be keeping that shit. Like, someone donated this and really lost out because this shit is sick. Like, I've never had a My Chemical Romance t-shirt. Wait, no, that's, that's a lie. I had one in middle school. But, of course, I probably got rid of it once I hit high school. But My Chemical Romance t-shirt, such a good find. Okay, now, really quick... I'm gonna show you guys what I got on Depop. Um, let me show you guys the other two things I bought on Depop. They shipped already, but they haven't, or one of them is waiting shipping. But I got this black mini leather skirt, pleather skirt. Um, and then I also got this shirt. I love punk rock. Um, that one hasn't shipped yet, but yeah, those are the other two things I got. The other tank top I got from Depop is this bedazzled heart tank top. This was only $20, and I know that's kind of a lot because this bitch probably like thrifted this for a dollar and sold it to me for 20 But you know what? I respect the hustle. You know, I respect the hustle. It's one of a kind. She went out and found it. If she wants to sell it to me for $20, that's fine. But 
yeah, no one had picked this up yet, and I just think it's so cool. It doesn't have any rhinestones missing or anything, and it's really, really given that Y2K that I love right now. So this is from Active Basic. So I got that, and then I ended up getting two things from Hot Topic. Please don't grill me. I was in... I don't know. I was in I was in a mood. I was shopping. I was like, let me let me go see what Hot Topic has. I bought this mini skirt. You guys can't tell me this is cute as fuck. Like, this is cute as fuck. It's that like olive green color. I don't know if you guys could tell. It's kind of showing up uh gray on camera. But this shit is so cute. And it's like the perfect mini cut. It also has shorts underneath, so you're not showing too much of your booty, but this is really cute. Um, I haven't worn it yet, but I think I want to take some pictures in it soon. This was kind of expensive. It was $35. And then I got the matching jacket to it. Um, this is like a knitted, knitted zip up. And honestly, I never find cute shit at Hot Topic, like ever. And when I went in there, this was the last hoodie. And I was like, you know, that's really cute. And I don't care. I want it. So I bought it. This was like 20% off, I think. So I think it was $25, but it's super cute. I like it. It's cropped. It fits me good. The knitted material is nice. It has those like man-made little holes in it, which, you know, it's fine. But yeah, this is really cute. And then this is where I hit the fucking mother load. I'm telling you guys. I went to this consignment store in my town and it's downtown where all the rich white people live so there's a lot of good shit there and I found some really good pair of pants um and I also found this super cute jacket you guys are gonna flip when I show you this okay <laughs> I didn't even know Harley Davidson made jackets like this when I saw this I was like yeah she's mine give her to me I don't care how much she is it's mine Okay, look at the front. It's cute, little gold emblems, graphic design. Okay, the front is cute. Wait till you see the fucking back. Ugh, what? I've never seen anything like this. I don't know, so these aren't like rhinestones, but they're like studs, but this is the perfect jacket. I don't even care. And I'll tell you guys how much it is because this tag is still on there. It was $40. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, consignment stores, they're no joke. They they will charge you up the ass at consignment stores. But I was like, whatever. Charge me up the ass because I am not passing this by. This is like one of my best thrift finds ever. So I picked that up. Um, And then I'll just show you guys the other sweater I got right away. You know what? Don't judge me. This is my third Mossy Oak sweater <laughs> that I bought. And I don't know, I'm just on a kick right now. So I believe this was 50% off. So I think I only paid like 10 bucks for it. But this one's so cute and so warm. I literally couldn't pass it up. I know it's giving kind of like not the cutest, especially cause the brown is so like prominent in it, but it was comfortable when I tried it on. So I picked it up, okay? Okay, on to pants and then I have one ring to show you guys okay so I initially got these sweatpants because this thing was attached to it when I washed it it came undone so I'm guessing I just put it over it to look it, it looks so cute like it's giving let me show you guys how it was attached because then you'll get the full full effect of how it's supposed to look but that's so cute like I don't, I don't even know what this style is called, but it, I needed it. And I tried them on and it was, fit me really well. And they're really comfortable too. This is from the brand Queen of Hearts. But yeah, I got these like cute little yoga sweatpants. They have a slit in the middle. They're bell bottoms. So of course I had to pick these up. Okay, last two clothing items I have to show you. These are just some plain gray high-waisted jeans from PacSun. These are baggy and you guys know I love the baggy fit right now. I'm not really too into the high-waisted type of pants, but right now I'm thinking these are perfect for like work or just like 
when I'm going out and not trying to look stylish, you know what I mean? I mean, they're still cute, but they're given, they're given like high school me, if you know what I mean. They're cute, but yeah, I was thinking more like work purposes for these. These fucking pants. Okay, I've been wanting a good plaid pair of pants. Like, you know, that classic red, yellow, dark blue plaid. Like, I was looking at some Trip NYC um, bondage pants, but I was like, nah, I just want some plain plaid pants. And I found them. Skinny jean, low-waisted plaid pants literally obsessed these are from the brand ralph lauren denim and supply ralph lauren these fit me perfectly i'm telling you guys this is like gonna be my favorite pair of pants i'm gonna be wearing them all the time because they hug my hips like perfectly the only thing is they were kind of tight on me so i'm thinking if i if i eat one meal i'm bursting out of these like they're they're my size, but they're almost not my size, if you know what I mean. Um, they're a size 25 waist, which is crazy. I'm so proud of myself because my goal last year was to gain weight. Um, when I was going through all my anxiety stuff, I wasn't really eating properly and I lost a lot of weight and I was really skinny and it was just, I didn't like it. I was not feeling my best. So I ended up gaining some weight and I went from a 23 waist to a 26. So period. But yeah, these are amazing. Love these. That's all the clothes I got. Let me show you the one jewelry item I found. Okay, I had to go get it from the kitchen, but ah, uh, my fucking nose. I'm losing my mind. Okay, look how adorable. You guys, are you kidding me? This was only $10 and I think it's real silver. I'm literally obsessed. Look at this shit. The little face, oh my god, this was this is perfect. And the black little gems around it, I'm obsessed. I seriously can't believe I found this. I'm, I'm obsessed. This has to be like one of my favorite thrift finds of all time. But yeah, I'm cherishing this with my soul. So I think that's pretty much everything. Oh, I did want to show you guys this tote bag. Oh, don't mind me. I did want to show you guys this tote bag that I got. If you like dark art and you want to support a Middle Eastern artist, um, my favorite artist, um, her name is Miriam Awada. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I'm going to put her page right here. Um, I followed her quite a bit ago because I really liked her watercolor art, but she recently is selling tote bags and I had to pick this up because the artwork is amazing. It's literally amazing and I love tote bags. So if you guys are looking for really cool art, um, definitely check her page out. But I think that's everything. <sighs> I'm out of breath from fucking talking because my nose is so plugged. But yeah, that's it. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. Also, I think I'm going to start streaming on Twitch. Um, I started streaming on Twitch like a year ago and then I stopped streaming because my setup was kind of trash, but I think I'm going to start up again. Um, so yeah, I'm going to link my Twitch in my bio. You guys should definitely go follow me and watch my lives on Twitch. Um, I'm going to be gaming Fortnite um, and also just going live and chatting with you guys. Maybe I can try like new popular food items or I don't know, do challenges. You guys let me know what you want to see, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!